So hey guys, I'm back and we're gonna do a shop update. Pretty much getting ready for winter. I pretty much only have one thing to do besides get spray foam. But uh old Betsy's in here. My grandpa's mower's in here. Uh ran turn a fuel off, ran out of gas. That leaks all of its gas out anyways. And, and yeah, so it don't have no gas. This I still use because it's still mowing season. This is, I think, all the same. I don't know. I, I don't know if I was telling you guys, but there was a hole there. I put a tarp up. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, I still got a fix down there. I forgot about that, but got in there. And then, I mean, this is about all the same. It's just my shop. There ain't much different. But you come back here, you got a spare transmission for Big Red. Two spare tires for Big Red and a front axle for Big Red. Got my push mower in here. Got the lawn general and this is my mom's mower on here. Got the old girl. Then if you, you got my trailer right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Probably just leave it right there. I mean, it's sat out every other winter. I still got quite a while before winter, but I'd like to just get it ready. Back here. Uh, that's the tarp I re-put up. I got to, I just got to pull this down. <laughs> but I don't really care that much, but there are motors under here, blown up motors, but motors, that's a mess, but it's fine, I don't really care, um, I mean, I kind of got to get a dumpster if I ever want to clean this out, which maybe I will one day, I don't know, who knows how long I'll be here, but, um, I'm planning on, if I get money to, money that I'm not, like, money that maybe I'll make a funding just to buy i want to get a metal shed or build my an actual good shed either if i build a good shed it's not going to be back here but if i buy a metal shed maybe i'll buy a used one or something i want to level not down here because this is obviously i mean maybe i'll put it down here but the only problem with that is snow comes off of that so if i clear that out probably just put wood down for its level just get it level just build a little wood platform and then put the tin shed on top clear all this out for a part shed because i got too many parts that i have in my shop that i don't want there you come back here got the goat cart don't know what i'm gonna do with that for the winter it'll probably just sit here but i want to get the belt for it before winter but runs good and everything just needs a belt you got a wheel horse in here where my you old my mowing mower used to be but i don't want it in there because it's muddy so i threw the wheel horse in there because that had to go somewhere i got the crossman 1000 and the white mower that been taking scrap because i want to get it gone me and my grandpa do scrap normally we just pick up free stuff it's on the side of the road for scrap make some make sure you make good money on it this is all stuff i'm getting rid of i was gonna try selling those decks but it's not even worth it because they're going to sit here till probably next spring at least. So yeah, that's the mower. That's all I'm taking off. It. All I took off is back wheels, transaxle, front axle, and front rims. This still has to be parked somewhere. Well, next year at least. I don't want to say not. Most of this year, all of this year till not even a month ago, I parked it out here. Um... It had a tarp on it, which I just took it off to move it. So, and it's on a rubber mat, so it's fine. I just got to put the tarp back on it. Back here is much more cleared out, um, much neater. That I'm definitely keeping. That I'm not sure, and that I'm not sure. They might go to scrap. I'm not sure. They both have sentimental value, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I might rebuild them one day. I don't know. That I'm definitely not getting rid of, and that I'm probably not going to get rid of, and that I'm probably not going to get rid of, so... They'll probably sit here until I rebuild them, which will be a long time because I still got a lot of builds going on. I have the transmission for this it's back there. I don't know if it's any good or not. I don't. I was young and dumb when I pulled it, and I I don't know. I think it was just a bad pulley that was on it, and I think the belt was just slipping or it popped off. That's why I thing. And I was young and dumb. You know, you know how that goes. But yeah, I have the transmission for it sitting out back. Probably should tear into it and rebuild it because i took it apart when i was younger so i'm sure it's messed up <laughs> but it's all put together right now so yeah but this is the junk <laughs> that i'm keeping that i don't want to bring to the junkyard because these are all pretty much good parts that's a craftsman 3000 hood troy built hood motors i got that other tire over there 
that might go on the wheel horse. Same lug pattern. Well, same, uh, I don't know about pattern, but same uh, uh, amount of bolts, holes, or whatever the hell you want to call it. This is going to my cousin. We traded a bunch of stuff, and this is one of the things I'm giving to him because I'll probably never get to it, and it's just sitting back here. It's all good. Transmission's good. It's got a leaky case, but it doesn't leak bad, and I don't think it really leaks any. I think it's just some that gets in, just a tiny little bit that gets there. Probably should be pulled and sealed redone. This thing's ancient, but just needs a motor. But it runs and drives. I mean, drives don't obviously run, but when I had it up and going. It was originally going to be a plow tractor. This works good, but I don't know. Just didn't think I was ever going to get to it. And the electrical is jank on this thing, but yeah, that's that. Um, kayak, bike parts, and two bikes up there. All my other bikes are back there and i got rid of a lot of them that used to be what i was into that's originally what the shop was for i had a tractor but i was mostly just building bikes but you know honestly none of those bikes are put together because i pretty much stole all the parts for one bike up there <laughs> that i love so yeah and it's just a walmart bike that just shows how i am i don't really care where the bike comes from if i like it and rides nice and you know i'm gonna use it but this is all good. I know it looks horrible, but, you know, whatever works, works. But I think that's about it. I still got to put that snow blower in there. I'll do that right now. Snow blower. <laughs> Leaf blower. Ooh. But this stuff, these parts, I don't want in here. All of my parts that are in here, that shelf will go. And all the motors, once I build a shed or put a metal shed up. My plans are, if I stay here, when I get older, or I'm probably not going to maybe get a metal shed for parts, but if I stay here when I get older, I'm going to build once I, well, I mean, I pretty much just threw this together when I was younger, so, yeah, and just janked it and all this, pretty much built this shop for free besides a few things, so, not built the greatest at all, so, my plans are, are probably building a new shed and putting it somewhere, like a big shed, or maybe get a garage one day. I'd like to get a garage one day, but, you know, that costs money. So I'll probably use this shop for a while along it. But even if it does fall down, you know, I'll be putting it back up. <laughs> I start a lot. This was my first shop in here, but, you know. But I want to get a shed and... Um, use that or a garage but for now this is it but if i ever get a shed or garage this will just be for storage and if i move i want to get a garage out of other place you know but you know if i move i have a lot of stuff to take with me so yeah <laughs> i mean a lot so yeah peace